leaders legion all right what up world Hemingway checking in and man your boy is finally done it man i finally completed my first promo tour so as an artist man it's always a goal that you know I, any artist would be lying if they would say that they never wanted to go on tour never thought of going on tour or anything like that and now of course don't you know don't get let me not sit here and cap like it was the biggest thing in the world but at the same time I set up a tour, I had some dates, a couple of them was pay to play, a couple of them I actually booked myself and put up some money, made a little bit of money, lost a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, I really set up my first promo tour, you know what I'm saying, to promote my brand and my latest my latest project, Still At It. So, if you don't know, Still At It is out right now on all streaming platforms, you can click the link in my bio and you can check it out, it's six songs, it's fire as hell, it's all on IG and Facebook, so you can add it to the music and the stories and everything like that um i did about five or six dates and just for the sake of making sure i give everybody that i i, I reached out to on the tour their credit i want to make sure i actually go off my tour list so i can actually give y'all the right names because sometimes my, i'll be all over the place yeah so starting from the top i did the carolina buzz which is my event series that i created that was on 420 my first show that was in charlotte then my second show was may 7th and that was was Superstar Tuesdays in Columbia, South Carolina, and shout out to Jasmine Phoenix and Superstar Team 803 that put that on every Tuesdays, highlight them. Um, the Link Up SC, that was in Greenville SC, shout out to the whole Link Up squad, everybody, um, Shea Star, So So, and all them. And um, then I did the New Music Tuesdays in Charlotte, that was with the Coalition DJs. North and South Carolina Coalition DJs, man. Much love to them. They gave me hella feedback and, you know what I'm saying, hella insight on what they thought about my record. So, yeah, I'm going to be sending them songs out to y'all real soon. Highly Unique Radio, they are um, the station that hosts the industry's most wanted radio show, which is hosted by Tampa Mystic and DJ Such and Such. I didn't get to meet Such and Such, but I did the interview with Tampa Mystic. That's on my YouTube as well. Check that out. That was in Atlanta. So we have Charlotte, Columbia, South Carolina, um, Greenville, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia. I also did the Takeoff ATL showcase while I was in the A. So shout out to Takeoff ATL. That's four four different cities right there as far as traveling goes. And then the Carolina Wave showcase. I did the one in Charlotte. I was initially going to go to Greensboro, North Carolina, but they had one in Charlotte. And for how everything I had set up, I ended up doing that one. So shout out to Carolina Way, shout out to Mir, she the shit. Um, Fleet DJs, I didn't do the sound stage, but I actually did the artist spotlight where they had basically a big listening session for all the artists to play their music and to just basically get feedback and show love, similar to what I did with the Coalition DJs. So shout out to the Fleet DJs, all the ones that I met there. I appreciate y'all for that, man. And of course, I ended it with the Carolina Buzz back in Charlotte at Apostrophe Lounge, man. We just did that. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? That was one of my experiences where I learned a little bit more than I did on my second show because I switched to video news and things like that. I might go in depth about that particular thing in a whole nother video. But again, man, shout out to everybody that was involved in the Still At It tour that I uh, booked to set something up with, man. Shout out to all the artists I met. And if you're an artist, man, do it. Market yourself with a tour. Do it. It's the, it's the best way to go about it. It looks professional. I got hella, I got hella kudos on how I was going about doing this thing, man. So just make sure that you you market yourself the right way, cause that's that's how. You know what I'm saying? Big time independent artists are doing it and that's how major label artists are doing it. At the end of the day, those big tours that they're doing, even though they might invest into it differently, it's still marketing their brand, their product, their music, and everything else they got going on. So, again, the project is still at it. That's the tape, it's out now, check it out. Um, shout out to everybody involved with that. I'm not gonna go on the list of names because I always give my credit, so you gonna see who's involved with it. Follow me on IG, check out my YouTube. I'm always giving credit when credit is due to whoever was featured or produced or whatever. I mix and match to everything, so you know, yeah, I get that one drop. But uh, still at it is out now. Y'all know I ain't gonna never quit. I'm still at it to this day. Make sure y'all follow me everywhere at Hemingway the Third. Until next time, I'm out.